I've been really, really sick, so I'm sorry. I know I sound like a probably, I always sound annoying. I've, people constantly tell me how annoying my voice is anyways, but I know it's probably even more annoying right now because I'm like a stuffed up mouse, which is just like, what? Ugh. I became aware that my body was, I guess, so attractive to other people after my wife and kids. So let's say we stopped filming when I was like 10. I had to like realize that, okay, I kind of was like a big like impact in people's lives in a way, you know? They watched me every week and, oh, Katie, you were like so little and now you're like an adult. It's so funny to me because I'm like, what did you guys expect? Like, did you guys not grow up? I'm confused, like, and I'm sorry that I made you guys feel super old or, or you feel uncomfortable or whatever the case may be because I even see those comments sometimes too, like, you shouldn't be doing this, like, you're Katie and whatever. And it's like, no, Katie was a character. I'm actually Parker and I don't know what you guys want from me. I'm just being myself and I just grew up. I'm half white, so my mom is white, my dad is black, but my mom is like super curvy, like she's low key thick and she has a big booty. So I knew like, okay, I have the possibility to look like that, you know, my whole life I knew that. And right, you know, when I hit puberty, when things just started changing around like 12, 13, I realized like, I'm not about to be a twig anymore, you know? I'm not gonna just be, I'm not gonna have my kid body anymore. And even like going out for my auditions back then used to be hard because I didn't look my age, you know? My body was just like a little bit different than everybody that I was competing with. So that's really when it hit me. I realized like, okay, I'm gonna probably be a little curvier. And back then I was like, I didn't like it. I was like, it bothered me, you know, mainly because it affected uh, my work and just auditioning and stuff like that. It really just, I, I, I stood out more so than I needed to. And I was just like, I had my baby weight, you know? And um, it just wasn't the same. And that's really when it hit me. Basically, when I go into the gym, we like to get my heart rate going immediately. We usually start off with some jumping jacks and some squats. Q has come up with a really cool program for me. And basically, um, we do like 10 jumping jacks and then we do a countdown of squats. So that kind of gets me ready and gets my body woken up and is like, hey girl, we're here and it's time to work. I really told him when I started working out with him that I wanted to focus on just toning mainly because I wanted to keep my curves. I don't really want to lose a lot of weight. When I came to him, I actually was not at my healthiest weight. I felt like I was really skinny and I wanted to actually gain weight and keep my curves and kind of accentuate them even more. We work on a lot of legs, just toning legs, um, and even toning up the arms because I felt like my arms were really just like flimsy and just not cute. So sometimes we do a little bit of treadmill. Um, he gives me like about like five minutes and we just like, we do an incline, we do a run for a minute and then we do a walk for one minute. Just, I kind of don't want to do like a lot of cardio because I don't want to lose any weight. I more so wanted to gain weight when I started working out with him. So that was another one of my goals was just like bulking up a little bit. And because when I when I uh, started working out with him, I was a little skinny. I feel like a lot of people see me on Instagram and they think like, oh wow, you're thick, you're this, you're that. But I would like to say slim thick. <laughs> Nice, almost there, almost there. Nine, give me one more, give me one more. 10, there we go. Nice. Good job. The last year, I kind of like, was over everything. Like, I didn't even know if I really wanted to act anymore, or like what I really wanted to do. I moved away and was just in a crazy situation. So it's time to start getting things together. I wanna feel better, I wanna look my best, cause like I said, I was super skinny and I just was feeling like frumpy for once in my life and just not feeling myself, you know? I told them, I'm like, I want a trainer. So they reached out and, and Q just, thank God, was, was found. My PR company set it up for me and I had my first session and I was like, I fuck with him and I'm coming back and I did. <laughs>
I haven't really been consistent with trainers in the past. Quentin has like been my one person that I actually really enjoy working out with. Not only is he so motivating, you know, just with the way that he looks himself, you know, but he also keeps me just really wanting to come back and just even converse with him and, you know, kind of like a brother-sister relationship. So um, he just keeps me motivated and wanting to be there and just work on the inside, you know what I'm saying, so that I can look my best on the outside. People that I have worked out with in the past, they focus more so on your diet and losing weight. And I, I am so bad when it comes to dieting. Like, I love food way too much, so I really love that about Q. He knows that I'm gonna eat my pastrami chili cheese fries and all that stuff, but he makes sure to get me in the gym and, you know, just tone those areas and work on what I have and not focus on what I don't have. I am just a really confident person, just naturally, you know, but it is, you know, I think for other people, and I have seen it just with other people, it's hard, you know, it's hard. People sometimes like look for those compliments all the time and when you're not getting them, it may, you know, bring you down or put you in a, you know, in a depression because you're not getting, you know, what you're looking for or maybe you're out there trying too hard or whatever the case may be. But I find that if you just have that, like self-confidence comes from within at the end of the day. Senior year graduation is when I realized, you know what, I'm actually a baddie and I'm gonna live my best life. <laughs> and I'm gonna get on the gram and I'm gonna like shut shit down, period. I don't really let this stuff on Instagram affect me, honestly. And I just, I have always believed in myself, you know? And um, I don't really like think that I need those 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 comments or anything from anybody else. Like it's better to just I I always tell everybody you have to be your biggest fan. Like wake up and tell yourself in the mirror every day you're beautiful, you look great, and you'll really believe that eventually. I really love my body now, and I've learned to just be comfortable in my skin and show it off if you got it. You know what I'm saying? Even if you don't got it, just love yourself and just be yourself and. Just be cute and fun.